In this video, we're going to go through how to connect Tableau Desktop to an RDS MySQL version in AWS. So first off, we're going to have to create a new MySQL instance in AWS, um, and we're going to do this with a RDS inside of there. We're going to need to get credentials to the RDS instance. We're going to need the endpoint, and obviously we're going to need proper access to the RDS. So to an in order to ensure that we can make connectivity, first go to the console and we want to validate that we have an endpoint, make sure we're on the standard port for MySQL and that this is publicly accessible. So then from there, usually plug it into a SQL workbench or something to validate that we can actually connect to it and retrieve data from a table that we're going to use. And once that val that's validated, we can go and actually use Tableau. So from a Tableau perspective, I'm going to copy my endpoint. We're going to go to Tableau. We're going to use uh, connect to a server more. Now, in this uh, area, we can actually just use MySQL. The server name is going to be our endpoint. Our username is the username and password that we set up when we set up the RDS. We're going to use our standard port of 3306 and we're going to sign in. Tableau is going to make a connection to the server. We're going to need to choose our database, which in this instance is called Tableau. And you can see here that we have one table called customer. If we click on this, we can actually view the data. Can update that now. It's our data source, and so now we can go to our worksheet and use Tableau as normal. And there you go. So when we're using Tableau, essentially we're going to create a new connection. Um, we're going to put our endpoint in. Um, we're going to create a new server connection in Tableau Desktop, and we're going to use the MySQL uh, driver inside of that. Some of the common issues you have when connecting Tableau to AWS RDS um, is that, first off, the ability to see it. That may be prevented by security groups. Your security group inside of AWS may be blocking uh, your IP or access to that RDS specifically. You may have something wrong with a NACL, uh, a network ACL inside of the AWS as well. Potentially your credentials are wrong, so your username and password could be wrong um, or the credentials you're trying to use to connect to that RDS um, are not working. And lastly, you may have some firewall issues that are blocking you from actually seeing AWS or seeing that RDS specifically.